they say there is not enough darkness in the world to put out the light of the first ray of the morning sun they say hope is that gentle cool breeze on a hot summer day they say there is hope in every story my name is rajesh and this is my story i belong to an indian village of haryana like most other village this place is a remote settlement of illiterate farmers a place untouched by time where even today a farmer would raise not more than one crop to sustain the life of his family since generations the single season agriculture has been a pure gamble with the monsoon winds the farmer would spend the remaining year waiting for the next monsoon a gazette officer would come every year merely to revise the census sheets for the figures of disguised seasonal and voluntary unemployment the rickety structure by the way is the village school but unlike other schools this school lacks one of the most important cornerstone hope With a complete lack of training of any sort the teachers seldom visit the school the duster lies under a strata of dust and the chalk has never made a contact with the blackboard the innocent children unaware of their future spend their time playing in the sun until they become another illiterate farmer who once went to the school one who never hoped as he never knew what is it to dream as another part and parcel of this vicious cycle i spent my childhood grazing cattle and helping father in the farms yet as they say the fate is written unless you start writing it i accept the challenge that some day I would break out of the dark vicious cycle. There doesn't pass a day when I don't flip through the pages of my book. Nevertheless, the consecutive droughts, absolute domestic resourcelessness and the regardless advice from the government servants leave us with no option. And as they say, you will never lose until you accept your defeat. I travel to a nearby town, a place where opportunities are traded. I earn my bread working in the cement factories and brick kiln. 10 hours a day, 7 days a week. My only calculations went in ensuring that there was something left for books and conveyances. My daily wages bring me money that would somehow suffice my school fees. with no uniform and the bare feet leave me as an unacceptable device of mockery i find no friends but never stop to find some place and time to study at last the iron will and the dark determination bears its fruit i'm offered to sit on the last empty benches of a private school where i end up being an honor student one among the top 100 students of the state i identify the golden opportunity that fate had bestowed and the only thing that mattered now was effort i pursue my graduation in engineering and pay off all my loans i have won the challenge i have successfully pulled myself out of the dark vicious cycle I could see my dreams in reality. I finally feel the purpose of my life. After serving various countries, I finally settled at the United States of America and complete my MBA from the Indiana University. Since then, I have been living a life we know today as an evolved, rational and independent life. 
even though as I wake up every morning to see my reflection in the mirror, I can see nothing but the dream that there will be a day when those eyes, strange to see dreams, will hope against all hopes, would envision that basic necessity that articulates us into rational members of the society. That basic necessity being none other but education. I could not resist the moral obligations and come back to my motherland, into the Indian villages of Haryana. In 2011, the dream takes a name, Takshila Education Trust, a non-profit organization that has been facilitated with 10 acre land in the village Abhitapur, 100 kilometers from the national capital. The dream Takshila is but a revolution indispensable to break away the shackles that binds into that dark vicious cycle of unawareness and illiteracy. The dream hopes to expose the actual side of education. The development shall consist of three phases. The first phase shall comprise of seeding the necessity of awareness through its educational centers inviting the locals to initiate the change. In the second phase, a secondary school shall be erected. Takshila research team will carry out a comprehensive door-to-door -door survey and will offer admissions to the economically backward children of the society. Under third and final phase, middle and primary schools shall be erected that would open the doors to uncountable opportunities. At least 60% students shall avail free education in affiliation to CBSE as well as various international education boards offering student exchange programs. Today, I hope that the belief in my dreams shall cast away the shadow of illiteracy and ignorance through the light of education. For no dreamer is ever too small and no dream is ever too big.